Hello, I am Anish from financetrain.com. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to calculate the cost of sales, gross profits and the cost of ending inventory under different inventory accounting methods such as specific identification, weighted average cost, FIFO and LIFO. Metal Impacts is a hypothetical steel trader. It buys steel from the manufacturers and sells it to local manufacturing units. For simplicity's sake, let's assume that there is only one grade of steel used. Assume that the year 2011 started with no inventory. In the year 2011, it first purchased 1 lakh kg of steel at $1.1 per kg. Again, they purchased 2 lakh kg of steel at $1 per kg. Finally, they purchased 3 lakh kg of steel at $0.9 per kg. All the material purchased is stored in a warehouse and each lot purchased is easily identifiable. During the year 2011, they sold total 5 lakh kg of steel at $2 per kg amounting to a total sale value of $1 million. In this sale, they used 1 lakh kg of purchase from the first lot, 1 lakh 50,000 kg from the second lot and 2 lakh 50,000 kg from the third lot. So they still have a balance of 50,000 kg from the second lot and 50,000 kg from the third lot. Let us now use this data to calculate the gross profits and ending inventory under different methods of inventory valuation. First, let us consider the specific identification method. Under the specific identification method, the cost of actual material used is matched to the cost of sales. First we need to calculate the cost of sales which will be the actual cost of material from each lot. So the first from the first lot we have used the entire 1 lakh kg at a rate of 1.1 dollars plus we have used 1 lakh 50,000 kg from the second lot at a rate of 1 dollar plus we have used 2 lakh 50,000 kg from the third lot at a rate of 0 0.9 this will give us the total cost of sales the gross profit will simply be the total sales minus the cost of sales the ending inventory method again will value the inventory at the cost purchased from each lot In this case, it will be the balance quantity of 50,000 at the rate of $1 plus the balance quantity of 50,000 from the third lot at the rate of $0.9 that is $95,000. Under the weighted average cost, the costs are allocated using a weighted average cost of all the material purchased. So first we need to calculate the weighted average cost which in this case has been calculated as $0.967. Let us again take how this value was calculated. We take the total cost of all the material purchased and divide it by the total quantity that has been purchased which is 6 lakh kg. The value is $0.966. We can round off this value up to two decimals which will be 0 0.97 dollars the cost of sales in this case would be equal to the quantity sold at the weighted average cost rate that we just calculated the gross profits will be the total sales value minus the cost of sales the ending inventory again will be calculated the same rate equal to the balance quantity multiplied by the weighted average cost of the material we can round off these values up to two decimals in the FIFO method, the oldest inventory items purchased are considered to be sold first. So we will take the cost of material from the first two batches completely and then use the remaining from the third batch. 
the cost of sales will be equal to 1 lakh kg from the first batch at the rate of 1.1 dollars plus 2 lakh kg from the second batch at the rate of 1 dollar plus 2 lakh from the third batch at the rate of 0 0.9 dollars that comes to 4 lakh 90 thousand dollars the gross profit will be the sales value minus the cost of sales the ending inventory will in this case be only from the third batch which is equal to the balance 1 lakh kg of steel available into the rate of 0 0.9 dollars per kg in the LIFO method the costing is done with the assumption that the last material is used first so we will take the entire quantity from the purchase 3 then take the quantity from purchase 2 which will be the total 5 lakh kg that was sold during 2011 equal to the total cost of material from purchase 3 plus the total cost of material from purchase 2 again we will calculate the gross profit using the same method the ending inventory in this case is the entire material that was purchased in purchase 1 which is equal to 1 lakh 10 thousand dollars in this video we learned how to calculate the cost of sales gross profit and ending inventory under different inventory accounting methods such as specific identification weighted average cost fifo and lifo thank you very much visit financetrain.com